Hey, how are you doing? It has been a while. I know I just posted kind of like a story time, educational video about where I've been for the past four weeks. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, it's about my surgery. I'm not gonna go into detail in this video because that video is super in depth, but because I was out of commission for a while, I did some shopping. We have items from Topshop. We also have a very sad order from Pretty Little Thing. I won't spoil it, but. And we have a very large package from Dolls Kill. They sent me a couple of things of my choosing. And I just wanna say thank you to our sponsor today, who is Shop Tagger. I've talked about Shop Tagger. I think only once before, but it was like literally this time, I think last year, but I've been using it for a while. It's totally free and it just helps you pretty, it's like, it's like a, a friend while shopping to help you save money. So you spend nothing to use it. It's really quick to download. I'll show you it now. I have my computer here. Hold on, let me grab it. I'm going to show you how simple it is to just download it and add on shop tagger to your browser so when you find something you love all you have to do is click the shop tagger icon on your browser pick the color you like what size you are and what price of discount you are looking for and then just add it to the list it best fits here's one of the lists i created this is all of like my winter items and it's really great because you can kind of see what you're loving from a variety of stores and then you can see a pattern of what you're loving so i'm obviously loving plaid right now the lists you can create are endless so you can be as organized as you want. This is another list I have. This is just like comfy items. And Shop Tagger will let you know via email or push notifications when the items you love come back in stock or go on sale. So if you're planning to do any Black Friday shopping, any Cyber Monday shopping, I will link Shop Tagger for you in the video description. I think it's time we start with the haul. I'm going to start with Topshop because it's, it's right here. And I'm also wearing the first item, the, the only try on of this haul, I apologize. I think this was $14. It is like a petite cropped black t-shirt. I thought it was a good basic. I'm, all, I feel like I own so many like black and white basic crop tees or bralettes or crop long sleeves, just something to go with jeans that is just simple. But then I go to get ready and I never know where any of them are or like I imagine them in my head. I just knew when I was shopping, I, I needed to concentrate on basics that would go with all the crazy items in my wardrobe. For size reference, I guess I'll tell you my height and weight. Uh, by no means am I saying this is like a healthy weight for my height. Uh, I've definitely lost some weight and I'm, I'm normally heavier than this. But for size reference, petite, size two, for this top and for these clothes are all petite. I'm 5'4 for height and for weight right now, I am like 102. I don't know what that is in UK. You guys use different stuff over there. I know when I watched that one show, super size, super skinny, you guys say like 14 stone and like a stone is like seven pounds, I think. 7.6, I don't know. Okay, next item. This was $60, um, but it's it's a really like, this sweater will last me a, like a really long time. It's not too like trend forward, so it'll be in my closet for years. Um, I mean, it has like a little bit of detailing on the back, but for the most part, it's just like a nice material and it's like a pretty like basic style that is, almost timeless. So it's a petite size zero. You know what, I'm just gonna try it on for you, screw it. All right, top on. Here's the top. I mean, you could do it like long sleeve, but I think it's meant to be a little bit pushed up to three fourths. And then it's not cropped, but I really like it when people do like a half tuck with this cut of sweater. And then as mentioned, there is slight kind of detailing on the back but still really simple, nothing aggressive, no crazy like pattern or tassels or glitter sparkle. It's it's a, it's a basic, but it's hot pink. As much as I've been saying basics, this is this is not a basic, but it's just something that every time I see, I'm like, that's so my style. Like I would wear it even if it wasn't on trend anymore. I have so many things that would go with it. So even though, how much was it? It was $75. I was like, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these, even though they are <laughs> crazy loud. These are a petite size zero. So they're like very high waisted, like above my belly button so I can wear these. 
Um, pretty, I, I really like them with that black crop top first. And they're hot pink, red, and with a black, a little pop of yellow and white. Only thing I don't love is the pockets on these are not real. Um, I thought they were when I bought them and then I wore them out and I was like, the f So they start tight, they have loops for belts, the loops are real, thank god. Um, and then they're kind of baggy around the thigh and then they taper in and cuff at the ankle and they hit like, what's the technical term, like you're waiting for a flood. High waters, flood waters, calf hitters. <laughs> oh my God. Next, I got this belt. It was $30. Most of the belts I own are like black and basic. So I thought I would get something with a bit of a print. I only have one other printed belt. This was kind of a last minute buy, but I'm always looking for belts to kind of spice up outfits I already own. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. All right guys, now we have a pretty little thing. So what's, okay, this order. So, you know, when you get surgery, they prescribe you some medicine that you're not supposed to drive on. Um, you're not supposed to make any, you know, important decisions. So I thought it was a good idea to buy this and I've already had issues with pretty little thing, but I was not in the right state of mind. So I own this top. This top is not new. Um, everyone freaking has this top and I have to say I love it. It goes with everything, but I was too lazy to get out of bed So I didn't know that this top I love in a size 4 So I bought that top in pretty much every color they had but in size 0. It's just I don't know who it's made for but it is not my size. So here's here's it in nude It's just it's just a classic classic. It's just a basic crop top. So I'm not wearing the right bra for this top, but um, I mean, you're, I, I'm at like a loss for words. Do I do something like a very lacy bralette and just like put this on top? Do I wear it over a bathing suit? Because me, not in my right mind, got this order, thought everything was going to be exactly what I wanted because I already own this top, took all the tags off everything. So I own this, this. Oh, but there's more. I also got it in uh, the stone color, which is a nice way of saying gray. Oh shoot, this one actually still has a tag on, but I'm too lazy to return something that's like $10 because I'm gonna have to pay like $6 in shipping and leave my house. So I'm leaving my house for $4, which I guess I should do, that's $4. Yeah. Now I own a lot of this. So obviously that, all that was my bad. <laughs> that's not a pretty little thing. What I'm upset about, is other than that magical top that they sell that I do recommend, um, but size up because if you get what you think you should get, it's too small. Okay, so this was something I was like really, really excited about. This was I bought before the other plaid pants. I really wanted like a high waisted statement pair of pants. These were high waisted, these were statement, these were like skinny all the way down. Um, gingham prints with a racing stripe down the side. I was stoked, right? I saw people taking pictures of these, acting like they were, you know, what I thought they were gonna be. No, this is the most uncomfortable material. Uh, just, it's incredible that they made it like this. Like, I, I wish you could feel it, I really do. When you think of legging material, you think of, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna feel nice on the skin. No, this is abrasive. It's it's scratchy, it's not soft, it's not very stretchy. They're pretty much impossible to put on and off. If they just spent a little bit of extra money and used a material that is comfortable, this could have been a staple in my wardrobe, but instead they had screw me over and it's a waste of money because I took the tag off like an idiot. Next up, let's dive deep into Dolls Kill. As this most of this video has been like basic, items dolls kill is the best place to get like your crazy statement items and that's what i did first thing is this okay you're gonna love this or you're gonna hate this it's a rust like knit full two-piece matching set so it's it's a statement the top piece is a like knitted high neck it's buttoned in the back which is a little bit difficult to use, but then again, I don't know how else they would have made that work. The back is totally cut out, so you get like a little bit of revealingness with grandma life. I almost wish you could buy these pants separately 
because these pants are amazing. They're covered in dog hair because I've been wearing them every chance I get. My dogs, any dog actually, is obsessed with sitting on these. They are high-waisted. You can also wear them low-rise too, so they're kind of like the, the harem-esque pants. Super usable pockets. Um, they get slim fitting towards the end. I mean, they are just covered in dog hair. Next, we have this plaid off the shoulder little crop top with some three quarter length sleeves. I feel like this is a good piece for fall, but it would also work in like springtime and summer. All right, this, I am just so in love with like oversized knit chunky sweaters. I always have been. They're just my jam, but this one, oh my God, yes. Again, something like this isn't gonna be for everybody, but I just, I love a good chunky oversized sweater. Like in the fall, you can just wrap yourself up. I want a blanket like this. It's too hot to wear this now, but if you're like me, this is, this is a solid little number. I am just now discovering that it sheds, so I will not be wearing black with it. Good to know. I also got another super large oversized fuzzy hoodie. Only thing I don't love is I wish that the outside material was the inside material. Do we hear the sound? Don't like when things do that. Ah! This actually <laughs> might be a little bit too oversized for me. I even tried it on. It's a size small and I kind of feel like I'm drowning in it, <laughs> but it has a pocket. You should size down in this. That's just a thought because when they say oversized, Dolls Kill means oversized. All right, last item from Dolls Kill is a two-piece set. I imagining myself um, getting really fit, <laughs> working out, and wearing this outfit. So that's kind of my inspiration. This is from the Poster Girl collection. It's a very unforgiving two-piece nude tight high waist spandex with neon no, yellow green. Pretty much it <laughs> makes you look nude, but draws the attention. I also loved that the top had a hood. Always appreciate a hood. Pockets, those things are great. Uh, has a mesh back. I don't know, just like a really unique sports bra. I could see myself just wearing this on its own. And I could also see myself wearing this under something oversized. Um, just so I didn't have kind of like a wardrobe malfunction. So it's dual purpose or you can take a bomb ass hiking picture. It's up to you. <laughs> All right guys, I have been sitting around talking about clothes for a little over an hour. So <laughs> I think I'm done. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry that it wasn't my super normal like try on haul and um, I'm sorry it was super long. <laughs> I hope that you made it till the end. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that'll be in the description with my Twitter um, and anything else I forgot to say in this video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!